As Prakashan summarized, stress is the way intelligence grows. Or as Rich Dad would say, stay with the process. He explained that once a person stops searching for information and self-knowledge, ignorance sets in. That struggle is a moment-to-moment -moment decision to learn to open or close one's mind. Unfortunately, for many people school is the end, not the beginning. There is a tremendous difference between a broker who sells houses and a broker who sells investments. McDonald's is the largest single owner of real estate in the world, owning even more than the Catholic Church. Put a lot of your eggs in a few baskets and focus. Follow one course until successful. When you learn the rules and the vocabulary of investing and begin to build your asset column, I think you'll find that it's as fun a game as you've ever played. Sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. But have fun. Most people never win because they're more afraid of losing. That is why I found school so silly. In school we learn that mistakes are bad, and we are punished for making them. Yet if you look at the way humans are designed to learn, we learn by making mistakes. We learn to walk by falling down. If we never fell down, we would never walk. The same is true for learning to ride a bike. I still have scars on my knees, but today I can ride a bike without thinking. The same is true for getting rich. Unfortunately, the main reason most people are not rich is because they are terrified of losing. Winners are not afraid of losing. But losers are. Failure is part of the process of success. People who avoid failure also avoid success. We all have tremendous potential, and we all have self-doubt. Courage can make the difference in leading a successful life. Fear of failure keeps too many people out of the game. Instead, use failure as inspiration to succeed. Financial freedom might be free, but it doesn't come cheap. Freedom has a price, and to me it's worth that price. The big secret is this, it takes neither money to be financially free, nor a good formal education. It also doesn't have to be risky. Instead, freedom's price is measured in dreams, desire, and the ability to overcome disappointments that occur along the way. Are you willing to pay the price? Little fear can be a healthy thing, but we shouldn't live in fear of making mistakes. Mistakes are good things, if we find the lesson in every failure. I began shopping at the bankruptcy attorney's office, or the courthouse steps. In these shopping places, a $75,000 house could sometimes be bought for $20,000 or less. For $2,000, which was loaned to me from a friend for 90 days for $200, I gave an attorney a cashier's check as a down payment. While the acquisition was being processed, I ran an ad advertising a $75,000 house for only $60,000 and no money down. The phone rang hard and heavy. Prospective buyers were screened and once the property was legally mine, all the prospective buyers were allowed to look at the house. It was a feeding frenzy. The house sold in a few minutes. I asked for a $2,500 processing fee, which they gladly handed over, and the escrow and title company took over from there. I returned the $2,000 to my friend with an additional $200. He was happy, 
the home buyer was happy, the attorney was happy, and I was happy. I had sold a house for $60,000 that cost me $20,000. The $40,000 was created from money in my asset column in the form of a promissory note from the buyer. Total working time, 5 hours. <laughs>